Hello, hello, we are in New York. We are in a car heading to Lucy's NYU Gallatin graduation. We are going to the Beacon Theater and dad got some nice roses from the market next to my apartment. There's really bad traffic and it starts in 15 minutes, but I think we're really close, right? Yeah, we're gonna make it by a minute. And my mom is already there, so it's very fun that we have the whole family together for this. They're saving us seats. Really excited for Lucy. Um, I think we'll do a little celebration after or something. We're in the Upper West Side. And then we have dinner tonight. I actually have an eye appointment in between at 5.30 p.m. So I think if we celebrate after, I might just stay in my outfit and head to my eye appointment from my LASIK eye surgery that I got ages ago. And if you wanna learn more about that, I made a video on it so long ago and it was the best thing ever. Do you have LASIK? Yes. Do you like it? Yep. Best thing, right? Yeah. And then tonight we're going to dinner. We are going to Dumbo, Dumbo House. House. Lucy McFadden. Congratulations! Okay, you guys, I just got ready. I'm in this dress, which I feel like is really fancy for what I'm going to. Lucy invited me to an event with her at the Whitney Museum. And she said to dress nice. I don't think it's black tie, which this is definitely black tie. And she's bringing me fashion tape because this is sketchy. But I think it's just cocktail. I hope I'm not overdressed, but I'd rather be overdressed than underdressed. And we have dinner at Dumbo House with my whole family which should be interesting because this is the first time my parents have been together like in the same room since i was like 12. so a little nervous but they did great today at the graduation so i'm excited this is the look it's from house of cb it is like very low here full length i'm wearing really tall heels and I'm wearing my green bag right there with it. So it feels like a little more fun and not as serious. So my dad and I took an Uber no. to Yankee Stadium. And it was an hour long. I fell asleep and I'm exhausted. There's probably, how many people do you think are at the stadium? 300,000? Like there's literally a million, a million. Look at how red my eye is still from traveling. This always happens when I get jet lagged. I get a really bad red eye. What's occupancy at Yankee Stadium? You know, 40,000. 40,000. Okay, well, that's pretty high, but. Everyone, there was probably 20,000 of them outside trying to get in, and the ceremony started. I set the tables up, I need to We're not gonna get in, so we are at a bar nearby in the Bronx, watching, watching from here with my Coca Cola. What? Wow, Lucy 
look at this. Thank you. So I am about to head to dinner. I do not look good, but I'm just so over getting ready and putting on makeup. And I'm exhausted and I'm fucking tired and still jet lagged and just not really having it today. That Yankee Stadium was not it at all. But I got my sister a gorgeous cake from the Love Bakery. They also sent me some cookies. They're so good. Vegan, gluten-free, paleo, adaptogenic, adaptogenic. Anyways, I'm bringing the cake as my little grad present and we're going to Corner Bar, which I'm pretty excited because I've never been there and I heard it's really yummy. And then I'm gonna come back here and pass the fuck out, but my friend Daniela actually lands at like 8.30, so she's gonna come and stay here tonight and for a few nights, which is nice because this apartment feels so big alone, which I haven't really been alone, but I've been sleeping here alone. And it'll be nice to have her here and she hasn't seen it yet. Look at this cake I got Lucy. Matches her fit perfectly. Trying the corner bar. Having some stressful times over here. <laughs> Dad lost his wallet. Okay, Daniela's shit is everywhere. She got in late last night. And I just got ready for an event at the Williamsburg Hotel with Hawaiian Tropics. It's a brunch. It's a little bit colder in New York, so I brought a sweater, my new bag, and my Uber's outside, so I gotta go. This is my room here tonight. My friend and I will probably come stay in it. It's so cute and they put some flowers. And this is their new product, the Sheer Touch. I tried it at the lunch and it was so nice. I just put it on the back of my hand but their stuff smells so good. I've actually stayed at this hotel a few times. James and I stayed here last summer and did like a staycation and then we were like, we're definitely moving to Williamsburg, so it's fun now that we live here. I didn't pack anything because I was in such a rush, but I'm going to walk to a vintage store with some of the girls that were at the lunch and then I'm going to walk home and see Daniela and try and do a little bit of work before we go to dinner tonight with my sister and my dad. Um, it's my dad's last night here. hates the vlog. You should be a supportive friend. I am a supportive friend. I do all these other things. Like what? Oh my god, I know you're recording me. It's whack a doodle time. I'm fun. That's my payment. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm so excited. I am heading into the city to host a workout class with my friend Maddie and Samantha Jade is going to be the instructor. I think it's gonna be really good. I, once I got back from London, I was obviously so busy this week with Lucy's graduation. I managed to work out, I think on Tuesday before her graduation. Um, and Wednesday and yesterday, I just didn't have any time to work out, which if you know me, I love working out every day and I really wasn't working out. I worked out a bit in London actually, that's a lie. But I was still craving it when I got home, especially after traveling. And today I'm treating myself to this workout and then I'm going to the new Aloe Studio in Flatiron, which I'm so fucking excited because they opened a new studio here for girls to work out in. 
and it's gonna be like the one in LA. So there's going to be a Pilates, there's gonna be saunas, there's gonna be cold plunges. I think they only opened it up like yesterday or the day before. And Kyle, I haven't seen him in ages, so I'm so excited. I feel like I'm gonna be very out of shape since the last time I saw him. But we're going to do a workout together. I think I'm his last client, and then we're gonna sauna and cold plunge. And I'm horrible at cold plunging, so I'm terrified, but I'm it's gonna be fun. And yeah, a little wellness day over here. My dad just said, came over and said goodbye. He is heading back to California today. Daniela went off to Core Power here. She didn't want to come into my class, but she has therapy at 11, so she couldn't make it, but I tried to get her to come. Then I think we're gonna do a fun girls dinner tonight and have a fun weekend. I slept better last night, although I was still up at 6.03, which I think it's my blinds. I just don't want to admit it, because James would literally be like, I told you so. Danielle and I are getting ready for Lucy's dinner with a brand. This is the baby tea that she just came out with. And then this little denim mini skirt. Yeah, we kind of rotted all day today and I did not vlog last night, but we ended up going to a girl's dinner with our friend from home, Kendall. Then somehow that one thing led to another. We were at another bar and then we were at the box. <laughs> and the box, was something else. When, what did you say, Daniela? I mean, am I allowed to tell them that someone shit on stage? Where are you filming right now? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I yeah, mean, so. They should, people need to know. Yeah, like, don't, don't go anymore. Like, I actually felt like really sad and disturbed when it happened, and we were like, yeah, it's time, time to go. I didn't even look. I literally. Yeah, Daniela didn't even look. I mean, I couldn't. I almost couldn't not look, but this man with huge tits had his junk out and then took a shit. I actually didn't watch the shit part. Can I didn't, you say that? I think I can say that. Took one, I think, I guess, in a bag, and then by the time I looked up, he was smearing it all over his legs and running around, which is like, that's not sanitary in a club. Wait, on a serious note, yeah. should we take one shot for dinner? I don't do shots, oh. but you okay. can. But like, we need to go yesterday, Daniela. Okay, okay. Okay, okay bitches, we're okay. vlogging. <laughs> Daniela's ready for her debut. Hey guys. We are walking to Mason premiere because this bitch is literally obsessed with oysters. Okay. <laughs> really oh, your hair just got so. Oh, it's really foggy. I know, I just noticed that. Like, dusty. This is too much while I'm walking. It is? I wow, did these look good? Yeah. Is that the sauce that you put on? Yeah, this is the minion. What one do you like? This one. And this is horseradish, and then this is like their form of cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Well, do you want to try mine? Tell us your, this is a wet martini we've just discovered. It definitely tastes different, but it's less strong. <laughs> Wait, who got the olive? Well, I like to normally mm. see what I look like you in the camera, it. and I can never see because we're out, oh, no. outside. Oh no, not Giorgio. I did Giorgio. Giorgio. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Okay, ladies. Cheers. 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 Sunday fun day. Oh, yeah. Chinese food. 
Lucy's picking out a movie. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I am, this vlog, I'm sorry, is like so all over the place, but I'm just trying to vlog as much as I possibly can. And when I remember, and showing you guys like what actual days look like. So that's what I'm doing. I'm currently walking to the subway station. I'm going to the Marcy Avon, which this is kind of my least favorite subway station to go to. It's just not in the nicest part and it's like above ground. I don't know, I just don't love it that much. I just walked by so many people and they were all like staring at me vlogging. And I hate when that happens. But yes, I'm taking a subway in to the city. I have an event for the brand Dish, which I'm wearing it, this beautiful white linen set from them. The event is at, it's like a preview of their new collection, I think, and to pick out a few pieces, and the event is at the Mercer Hotel. And then I'm heading to another one at Zero Bond, which is like a private club place, but this is just, they're doing like a gifting suite there. There's a few brands that I was like excited, oh shoot, that are going. Um, Ose Malibu is like one of my favorite skincare brands and I've been loving their like night sea serum and their cleanser is my fave so hopefully I can grab some of those and then I have a meeting at 2 p.m. at Ralph's Coffee and then you guys I'm excited but I'm a little nervous I'm getting a clear and brilliant laser facial which I've only done the laser facials from like skin laundry that are like 10 minutes long and like no numbing or anything, it doesn't really hurt. And they're supposed to help with like your complexion and any like um, discoloration or any like bumps you have in your skin. And my friends, a few of them have done like Morpheus 8, I think is what it's called. And then I've had a few do Clear and Brilliant. And a lot of people say you don't really see results after the first time, like you need to do it multiple times. But I'm hoping since I don't have bad skin, I just have like some discoloration and some bumpy skin that I want to help. So I'm going in for my first clear and brilliant at 3 p.m. I'm going to Skinny Med Spa is what it's called. And I'm excited, they numb your whole face and then they do the laser. And that's all I know, but I'm gonna try and vlog the experience so you guys can see because I know you guys will have lots of questions. I think I'm not allowed to wear makeup for like two or three days after because there's like a little bit of downtime and you just don't want to infect your skin because it's basically like going to shed a new layer of skin. I don't know, I'm like nervous. And James gets home today from England. He like lands at 1.20 and um, we were away from each other for eight days, which was actually like, it was hard, but it was easier than I thought it was gonna be. That was our first time being away from each other this year, which is pretty fucking crazy if you think about it. But I'm really excited to see him literally going to come home with like a bright red, face and not looking cute, so sad. Also, this station is literally so many stairs, it's like its own workout. moisturizer and sunscreen on it's supposed to stay out of the sun for a few days or a week and I think it will start to trickle trickle off 